Hello, this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on backtesting a double top and double bottom chart reversal strategy using Excel. Now, this is the second part of a two part video series. In the first part, I showed you how you can calculate for yourself these my calculations for the double top and double bottom patterns. I looked at my criteria and the logic that I was using when I came up with these calculations. There is a link on the screen, so check it out if you'd like to see this video. Now what I've done is I've just taken the historical data and my calculations and put them into a Excel backtest model. Now this is actually a trade informed backtest model, which is a great way for anybody with some reasonable Excel skills to test your own trading strategies. You can be you can test all sorts of different technical indicators, chart patterns, um, stop losses, profit targets, trading stops, different ways of opening and closing positions. And if you'd like more information about these trading form backtest models, there is a link on the screen and down below and please click on this to see the further information. So in the model here, the Excel model here, we're, we can see we have some triggers caused by the chart pattern hitting the bottoms here. Now I go down a little bit further, we can see some double top patterns here. Now the double top patterns are looking at a, this is a reverse or a mean reversion strategy and so the double tops are going to be areas of potential short entries and the double bottoms are going to be areas of potential long entries. Now this is a trading strategy so I've introduced one or two other filters into strategy and I'm just going to scroll back up and click into this cell here. Now in the formula bar, it may look complicated, but in fact, it's relatively straightforward. What I'm looking for is, of course, a double bottom pattern to signify a potential reversal. What I'm also looking for is this slope here, this one here to be red. And what that is telling me is that the linear regression line, which if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know is one of my favorite technical indicators, the linear regression line is pointing downwards. Now, if the linear regression line is pointing downwards, it's saying to me that the preceding medium and long term has been on a bearish tone. We've been going downwards. So we do have the potential for a reversal and the potential for a long entry. Now, when this slope, the linear regression slope, Again, I'm going to scroll down here. Starts to point upwards. I'm going to change my outlook. I'm going to be looking for short entries. And when I have a double top here, I've got the potential for a short entry. Now I scroll across to the screen here. You can see indeed this is what happens here. We have a short entry and we have a profitable trade. Now I'm going to click here and we can have a look at some of the inputs into this strategy. I'm starting it out with a notional $100,000 account. I'm using a profit target, a stop loss and a trading stop, all set at four. And like a lot of people, I like to use the average true range, the ATR, to set my stops and my profit targets. And I think that is a great way to do it. It's dynamic when the market it automatically sets itself to the price of the market you are trading. If the market's been active, if it's moving a lot each day, the ATR will be larger. If the, if the market's very quiet, the ATR will be smaller. So I set these as a multiple of the ATR. You can see here the potential risk, sorry, the potential reward and the maximum risk. These here are based, again, on the stop loss and profit target. Got a few other things here. One of these is that I'm using a Bollinger Band close. Again, 
I've recorded videos on this and please have a look at these if you are interested in it. Trying to exit the position when the market is stronger. I'm using a factor here and if you want to know more about this factor you might want to check out the previous video and we've got a potential to exclude months. You can see we can do all sorts of things in this trading strategy. And sorry, in this backtest model, we can do all sorts of different ways of changing it, comparing it. So if I want to, I can change this to a six. And we just change it to a two and we're gonna get different results here. We can let the profits go on a little bit further. Or we can close them and increase, hope to offset it by increasing our winning percentage. Okay, I'm going to set it back to the original, original value of 4. Now you can see I just want to talk briefly about these results here. We've got a 65.5% win percentage which is pretty healthy. The sort of percentage you would want and indeed expect for any type of mean reversion strategy. We can refine this further to try and eke that higher at the expense of course of having fewer trades. A couple of things to note, the largest winning trade the largest losing trade is slightly greater than the largest winning trade and our average losing trade is higher than our average winning trade. Now this again is something to be expected. We would try and balance these out as much as possible but it is something to be expected for a mean reversion strategy. Happily we've got a decent balance here between long and short trades showing in fact very similar profit factors and reasonably similar given the number of trades amount of profit. So all in all this is the strategy that I've come up with. I hope you find it useful. Um, please go to check out my other videos. Please subscribe to this channel if you're interested in this sort of video and for more information about trading the financial markets and analyzing the financial markets please go to www.tradeinformed.com.